Hi boys and girls, thank you for joining me for lesson three in our unit of adding three digit numbers. In lesson one, we learned about the base 10 strategy. In lesson two, we learned how to add three digit numbers using number lines with our number line niles. And today in lesson three, we're going to be learning how to add three digit numbers in expanded form. So before we begin, there's a few items you're going to need for this lesson. So from your packet, whether you printed it or picked it up at El Toro, you're going to need the Break It Down Daisy poster that's in your packet. You're going to need page 62 from your packet. Page 62 looks like this. And you're also going to need a pencil or a dry erase marker to write with. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video now. I want you to go ahead and grab the Break It Down Daisy poster. I want you to grab page 62 from the packet and either a pencil or a whiteboard marker to write with. So go ahead and grab those items and come right on back. Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you were able to grab all of your materials needed for lesson three. So in this lesson today, we're going to learn how to add three digit numbers using the expanded form. Remember, when we expand a number, we're stretching it out to show the value of each digit. So the expanded form of 222 would be 200 plus 20 plus 2. We have two hundreds in the hundreds place. We have two tens, which equals 20, and we have two ones. So 222 in expanded form, if we were stretching it out to show each value of each digit, would be 200 plus 20 plus 2. All right, boys and girls, our first problem is 384 plus 415. And I made a nice chart over here just to organize my work so it's easier to add up the hundreds, tens, and ones columns when it's time. So right here, this column is representing the hundreds, the T is representing the tens, and the, and the O is representing the ones. We have the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. And this chart is going to be something similar that you will be seeing later on in the lesson when you do your independent practice work. So I'm going to model with it here so you know what to expect when you see it in your work later today. So 384, we're going to break it up. In 384, there are three hundreds. There are eight tens, which equals 80. And we have four ones. Now I'm going to break up 415. In 415, there are four hundreds. There is one ten. So we simply will just write ten. And there are five ones. So once I've broken up each number into expanded form, this is what it will look like. Our next step is to add the hundreds, the tens, and then the ones. So first I'm going to add the hundreds. So 400 plus 300 is 700. Now I'm going to add the tens. 80 plus 10 equals 90. And then I'm going to add the ones. 4 plus 5 is 9. So once I've added the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, my next job is to add all these values together at the bottom to get the final answer. So I'm going to add 700 plus 90 plus 9. So 700 plus 90 is 790. And 790 plus 9 equals 790. So 384 plus 415 equals 799, 799. All right, boys and girls, our next example we're going to do is 436 plus 194. So I'm going to break apart 436 first into its expanded form. So in 436, there is a 4 in the hundreds place. So that value is 400. There is a three in the tens place, so three tens or its value is 30. And there is 
six ones in the ones place and its value is six. Next, I'm gonna break apart 194. In 194, there's a one in the hundreds place, so its value is 100. There is a nine in the tens place, its value is 90. And there is a four in the ones place and its value is simply just four. So once I've broken up each number into expanded form, I need to add the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So 400 plus 100 is 500. 90 plus 30 is 120. And six plus four is 10. So I see I have a 10 in the ones place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ones and the tens and add them together. So I'm going to add 120 plus 10, which equals 130. So I've added 120 plus 10 to give me 130, and now I need to bring down the 500 and add that value. So I'm going to add 500 plus 130, which equals 630. 630. All right, boys and girls, so it's now it's time for you to go ahead and practice on your own. So you're going to need page 62 from the packet. Page 62, there are three problems on page 62. So go ahead and pause the video now. If you need to rewind to rewatch something, you may. And also, if you have your Break It Down Daisy poster, that'll be helpful if you have that out next to you. So go ahead and pause the video, work on page 62, and I'll check in with you in a few minutes for your answers. All right, boys and girls, I hope you were able to work through the three problems on page 62. We're going to briefly go over your answers. So number one, your problem was 323 plus, 323 plus 249, 249. So if we were to break up 323 into expanded form, we would have 300 plus two tens, which is value is 20, and three ones. To break up 249, we have 200. We have four tens, or its value is 40. And we have nine ones. So now I need to add up the hundreds, tens, and ones. 300 plus 200 is 500. 40 plus 20 is 60. And nine plus three is 12. So we learned in lesson two, a strategy about regrouping. What we're gonna do here is we're going to simply add the ones and the tens together first. So 60 plus 12 is 72. 60 plus 12 is 72. Or let me write that more clearly. 72. Now that I've added the tens and the ones, I need to make sure I don't forget to bring down the hundreds. So 72 plus 500. So 500 plus 72 equals 572. So your answer for number one is 572. I'm gonna go ahead and erase my board. Problem number two. Problem number two, you should have had 264 plus 109. So number two, 264 plus 109. When we're breaking apart 264, we have two hundreds. We have six tens, or it's a value of 60. And we have four ones. In 109, we have 100. And the tens, we have zero. We have no tens, so you can just put a zero there. And then the ones place, we have a nine. So once again, now that I've written both numbers in expanded form or stretched it out, I need to add the hundreds column, the tens column, and the ones. So 200 plus 100 is 300. 
60 plus 0 is 60. And 9 plus 4 is 13. Excellent, 13. So just like in problem 1, we're going to add the 10s and the 1s because our 1s sum of 9 and 4 is 13. So that is greater than 10. So instead of having to regroup, we're going to add the 10s and the 1s together. So 60 plus 13 is 73. 73. And now that I've added my 10s and my 1s, I can't forget to bring down my 300. So now I'm going to add 300 plus 73. So 300 plus 73 gives you an answer of 373. 373. All right, boys and girls, and the last one, your problem for the last one is 300 and 42. Just finish raising my board real quick. Okay, so the last one is 342 plus 128. 128. So we're going to break apart the first number into expanded form. So in 342, we have three hundreds. We have four tens, or its value is 40, and we have two ones. In 128, to put it in expanded form, we have 100. We have two tens, or its a value of 20, and we have eight ones. So boys and girls, say out loud, now that I had my numbers in expanded form, what is my next step? Say it out loud. Excellent. My next step is to add the hundreds column, the tens column, and the ones. So 300 plus 100 is 400. 40 plus 20 is 60. And 8 plus 2 is 10. So since my number in the ones column is 10, we're going to add the tens and the ones together. So anything greater than 10, boys and girls, you can just add the 10s and the 1s column together first. So 60 plus 10 is 70. Now, I can't forget my 400 over here, so I'm going to add and bring down my 400 plus 70. So 400 plus 70 equals 470. So your answer for number 3 should be 470. All right, boys and girls, if you need more problems and you would like more practice, please go ahead and email me, have your parents message me, and I can send you some more work pages if you'd like extra practice on this skill. So remember, lesson three, let's break it down daisy. We learned how to add three-digit numbers in lesson three using the break it down daisy strategy using the expanded form. And remember, expanded form means stretching the numbers out, breaking them up into hundreds, tens, and ones. So that's it for lesson three, boys and girls. Lesson four, which will be a review of all the three strategies we've learned so far. So in lesson four, you will be using all three strategies. You will be using the base 10 strategy, you will be using number line Niles, and you will be using break it down daisy with expanded form. So if you have any questions or if you would like more practice, please go ahead and email me and I can send you some extra practice sheets. All right, thanks for watching, boys and girls. Have a great rest of your day.